YouTube, Shane here. Yeah, I got something a little different today. Um, I picked up a new air rifle. It is this right here. It is a Gamo Swarm Magnum 10X Gen 3i. It's their latest version of the Swarm Magnum. This is a 22 caliber. I know it's a fairly popular air gun, and it's been around for uh, been around for a number of years already. But they've been making some changes along the way, so I, I, I kind of had an itch for one, and I decided to finally uh, do something about it. So I've got this gun. I've been doing a little bit of breaking with it. I've got about maybe 75 rounds through it so far, and I've just been just getting some rounds down the bore, getting the scope zeroed and whatnot. But uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to uh, do a little chronograph testing with three different pellets, just to uh, get an idea what kind of speed we're getting here. Let me show you. So these are what we're shooting today. I've got the uh, the um, JSB 18.13 grain, and I've got the uh, JSB Hades, which is a 15.89 grain, and then we've got the Crossman Premier Hollow Points that are 14.3. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, shoot these over the chronograph. I'm just going to do three of each over the chrono, see roughly what kind of speed they're doing. Let me go ahead and get the uh, camera set up on the chronograph, and we'll just check these for speed. Where, where we're shooting here is an elevation of about 4,000 feet above sea level. So the air is a little thinner than it is down at sea level. I think it's a roughly about 80% of the density it is at sea level. So we're not going to have the same velocities you'd have down at sea level. So just keep that in mind. But anyway, I'm curious to see how it, how it uh, measures up. So let me go ahead and get the camera moved around, and we will get to testing. We hopefully we will be able to see the chronograph screen at this setup. If not, I will well, I will tell you what each shot is. And we are going to start off with the 1813s. We'll work our way down from the 1813s down to the Hades and then down to the Premier. So we should be picking up speed as we go along. Shot number two. Seven, eight, three. Seven, seven, three. Okay. Went down a little bit, not too much. So, seven, seven, three, seven, eight, three, seven, eight, seven. Kind of in the range of seven eighty, give or take. So it's not too bad. Let's try these uh, Diabo, these uh, Hades, fifteen eight nine. Seven, six, eight. Actually lost a little velocity over the heavier pellet. Okay, try number two. Okay, seven, six, seven. Because we got seven, six, eight and seven, six, seven on the Hades. Let's see if we can get one more here. I got one up going up a little higher seemed to help. Oh, got another error. Well, 767. Seven. It's funny because the, uh, the 18 grainers were doing about 780, and these 1589s are set, look like from the two we could read, they're down at uh, 767. 767, seven, 768. Oh, that's interesting. Not sure what to, what to make of that. Maybe the alloy in the pellets is a little different. 
I'm loading up some Crossman 14.3. See if we get any readings off those. 8.48. Okay, we got to read there. Eight fifty one, eight forty eight, and eight fifty one, eight thirty eight. Okay, that's it. So eight thirty eight, eight forty eight, eight fifty one. Call it about eight forty five on average for the fourteen threes. Okay, that's not horrid. Um, it's about a hundred feet per second slower than my hats in 125. And I'm going to, one of these days, what I'll do is I will, uh, bring the hats in out with this gun. We'll do a side by side and, and see. But, uh, when I check the speeds on my hats and I was getting 930 with the 14.3s and with the, um, 18.13s, I was getting 830. 8.30 with these, 9.35 actually with the 14.3s. So this gun has good power. Um, I I I'll, have to, I'll have to do the math, but it looks like it's going to be probably in the ballpark of about 26, 25, 26 foot-pounds, somewhere in there, uh, which is great. All right, that's all i got for you for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.